how to BitTorrent use and magnet links and .torrent file link addresses on Ubuntu Linux command line terminal or CLI. Area 2 is the tool we are going to be using. It is a multi-protocol and multi-source command line download utility. One of the supported protocols is BitTorrent, which I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. I'll be using the Area 2C command and performing three different variations of this Area 2C command. Two commands will show you how to torrent a single file in two different ways and the third command will show you how to torrent two or more multiple torrents sequentially. Area 2C lets you torrent using magnet links and .torrent file link addresses. The first thing you need to do is open your command line terminal window. If you're on an Ubuntu Linux server like myself, you'll need to connect to your server via an SSH client. Once you've got it open, the very first command you'll need to type in is the command to install Area 2. Type the following, apt space install space Area 2. Once you've typed this in, hit enter on your keyboard. Do you want to continue? Y for yes and N for no, type Y and then hit enter on your keyboard. If you're greeted with a window which asks you which services should be restarted, just simply press tab on your keyboard to get to where it says OK and then hit enter on your keyboard. You'll then be taken back to your command line terminal. Area 2 should now be installed. To check if it has been installed, type the following command, area 2c space dash dash version. Once you've typed this in, hit enter on your keyboard. And if you look to where it says area 2 version, you can see we've got 1.36.0 installed, which means we have successfully installed area 2 on our computer or cloud server. By the way, I forgot to mention that all these commands will be in the video description below. So all you'll need to do is copy them and paste them in by right clicking in your terminal window to paste and then just simply hit enter on your keyboard. So once you've installed area 2 and you've checked the version that you've installed, the next thing we need to do is find some torrents that you want to download. So I'm just going to open up my browser and for this video tutorial, I'm going to be downloading via BitTorrent Ubuntu ISOs. Now most Linux distributions allow you to download them via an alternative download, which usually includes torrents. So I've already navigated to ubuntu.com slash alternative dash downloads. And I'm now simply going to scroll down until I see where it says BitTorrent. And as you can see, I can download Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS and Ubuntu 20.04.6 LTS. For today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the desktop versions for both 22.04.2 LTS and 20.04.6 LTS. Once you've identified a couple of torrents that you would like to download, then you're ready to go. So I'm first going to begin by downloading Ubuntu 22.04.2 desktop 64-bit. On Ubuntu's website, these are .torrent file link addresses. If your torrent is a magnet link, then the process is exactly the same. So all you need to do is right click on the .torrent file or magnet link and then click on copy link address. Once you've done that, open back up your command line terminal window. Before we enter our first command and paste in our torrent link, we're first going to need to navigate to a folder or directory where we want to download and save our torrent files in. For me, that's going to be in a folder called media and inside the media folder, I'll be putting all my files in a folder called software. So to navigate to this directory, I'm first going to type the cd command to change directory. So type cd space and then the directory you want to navigate to. So for me, it's going to be slash media. Once you've typed in the directory location, hit enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, I'm now in the media directory. And if I type ls to list all contents in this directory and then hit enter on my keyboard, you can see I've got three folders. The first one is called movies. The next one is called shows. And the last one is called software, which is the one that I want to navigate into. So to navigate into the software folder, type CD again, space, and then the folder name. So mine's called software and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now, as you can see, I'm in the slash media slash software directory. Now the software directory, as well as the movies and shows directory, I created these folders before I started this video. So you most likely won't have these exact directories. You'll definitely have the slash media directory though. If you want to know how to make directories on the command line terminal, I'll put a link in the video description to a video of mine which shows you how to create directories in Ubuntu Linux terminal. Once you're in the directory that you want to download your torrent files in, we can now begin the process of downloading our torrents. So the first command that I'm going to be showing you is as follows. So type area 2 c space dash dash seed dash ratio equals 1.0 space quote 
and then I'm going to right click to paste in the .torrent file link address that I copied from my browser on the Ubuntu website. This is a .torrent file link address. You might have a magnet link, but the process is exactly the same. Magnet links tend to be a lot longer. Once you've pasted it in, press the quote once again on your keyboard. This area 2C command states that you will be downloading this torrent, but also will be seeding the equivalent data of what you download. So if you download one megabyte, you'll also seed back one megabyte. So you're given back as much as you are taking. This is because in torrenting, you are strongly encouraged to specify equal to or more than 1.0 seed ratio. You can seed more if you want, so you can seed 2.0 if you want or more, but for this video demonstration, I'm going to be going with a seed ratio of 1.0. Once you've typed in this command, hit enter on your keyboard and your torrent will begin downloading immediately using the Area 2C tool. You'll immediately notice at the bottom left that your torrent is given an Area 2 ID. You've got the amount of data which you've currently downloaded. So right now I've got 1.7 megabytes downloaded out of 4.5 gigabytes, which is the size of this Ubuntu 22.04.2 desktop ISO file. The percentage is of course the amount that you have downloaded of the torrent. CN stands for connections. SD is your seeds, DL is your download speed, and ETA is your estimated time of completion. As you can see, it's about 18 hours right now, fluctuating between 15 and 24 hours. Now, because this is a video demonstration, I'm not going to download the entire torrent, so I'm going to cancel it. However, on your end, you should allow it to fully download. It'll actually stop by itself once you've got a seed ratio of 1.0. Once this reaches 100%, it will then say seeding, and it will tell you your current seed ratio, and of course, it will stop seeding once you've reached a seed ratio of 1.0. Now, to cancel a torrent, it's fairly easy. All you need to do is press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard, and your torrent will immediately stop downloading, cancelling your torrent. Now, if I type ls, to check the files in my directory and then hit enter on my keyboard, you can see in the software directory, I've got three files. The first file is the ISO file, which is the main file that we were downloading. Next is the .area2 file. This is the file that Area2 creates when you start downloading a torrent. And then of course, you've got the .torrent file. So this is your main file, and these two is what Area2 needs to download the .iso file. You can actually delete the Area2 file and the .torrent file once you've finished downloading your torrent. So that's the first command. I'm now going to show you the second command to download a single file. So I'm just going to open back up my browser, and I'm now going to download Ubuntu 20.04.6 LTS. So again, I'm just going to right click on the .torrent file link address, and then I'm going to click on copy link address. Once you've got your .torrent file link address or your magnet link, open back up your command line terminal window and then type in the following command. Area 2C space dash dash seed dash time equals zero space quote, and then right click to paste in your .torrent link address or magnet link and then finish off the link with a quotation mark. Dash dash seed dash time equals zero, basically disable seeding after download is completed. So as soon as your download is completed, you're finished. You don't need to seed or anything like that. Now this isn't good in torrenting as you're not given back the same amount of data as you downloaded. I would try to avoid using this command as much as possible and use the dash dash seed dash ratio command instead. However, I understand that not everybody has a lot of bandwidth and is limited in their data allowance, so they can't always seed. So this is a good command to know if this is the case for you. Once you've typed in this command, hit enter on your keyboard. And again, your torrent will immediately begin downloading. Again, you've got your ID, your current amount downloaded, the size of the torrent file, the percent complete, the connections, the seeders, the download speed, which is not very fast. And then again, the ETA. Again, I'm not going to go through the process of downloading this file completely as it will take too long. And this is just a video demonstration. So again, I'm going to cancel by pressing Ctrl plus C on my keyboard. And there we go, our torrent has now stopped. Finally, I'm going to show you the third command. The third command is the force sequential command. This command allows you to download sequentially multiple torrents in a separate session. So in sequence, you'll download your first torrent that you paste in, and then you'll download your second torrent link that you paste in. Let's begin by typing in the command. So type area 2C space dash and then capital Z space. Next type quote, and then you'll need to grab your first dot torrent link address or magnet link. So I'm just going to open back up my browser. And again, I'm going to be downloading Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS and Ubuntu 20.04.6 LTS both at the same time. So let's first grab the dot torrent link address for 22.04.2 
So I'm just going to right click on it and then click on copy link address, I'm going to open back up my terminal window and I'm going to right click to paste and then I'm going to finish it off with a quote and then I'm going to press space on my keyboard and quote again. I'm going to open back up my browser and copy the second dot torrent link address or magnet link. I'm going to open back up my terminal window. I'm going to right click to paste and then I'm going to press quote on my keyboard once again. So as you can see, you can download multiple torrents at the same time. You just need to make sure you're using the dash capital Z command. And then after each torrent link, you're hitting space on your keyboard, quote, pasting in your link and then finishing off the link with a quote. All that's left to do now is to hit enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, again, this time we first see our download speed next to it we see the ID of our first torrent the amount you've currently downloaded the size of that torrent and then the percentage and then right next to it you'll see the ID of your second torrent in sequence the amount you've downloaded the size of your torrent and the percentage complete now because I didn't include dash dash seed dash ratio equals 1.0 or dash dash seed dash time equals zero once downloaded the torrent will continue to seed indefinitely so you will need to manually cancel the torrent after you've downloaded your torrent files and seeded an appropriate ratio. Again, because these files will take ages, and this is just a video demonstration, I'm going to press Ctrl plus C on my keyboard to stop the torrent. Now the dash Z command can be combined with seed ratio or seed time. So for example, you could have typed the following, area 2C space dash dash seed dash ratio equals 1.0 space dash Z space quote, and then your first link quote space quote, your second link quote and then of course hit enter on your keyboard so you can also do this as well if you want so this is just an extra condition which basically says your torrent will stop seeding once it reaches a seed ratio of 1.0 it's probably a good idea to specify as with the previous command your torrent will continue to seed after it has downloaded all the files indefinitely unless you press Control plus C on your keyboard all right so that pretty much concludes the video on how to BitTorrent using magnet links and dot torrent file link addresses on Ubuntu Linux command line terminal or CLI. Just a quick plug before I end the video. If you're looking to practice Linux commands in a Linux server like I demonstrated throughout this video, then check out my referral link in the video description below and as a pinned comment to DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is a cloud hosting provider providing virtual private servers or VPSs, also known as cloud servers, in the form of a service known as droplets. My referral link will get you $200 in free digital Ocean Cloud credits to try out their servers free for 60 days. Remember guys, my referral link will be in the video description below and as a pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so